Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Maybelline color tattoo tutorial for you all. And I have been doing a series on these Maybelline color tattoos. If you are unfamiliar with my channel or unfamiliar with this series, I will have it linked down below. I have like a little playlist of all the Maybelline color tattoos that I have been doing tutorials on. And I'm actually doing all the ones in the permanent line right now. And today I'm doing Tenacious Teal which it is a beautiful, I wouldn't consider this teal. The, to me, this is more of an aqua. It's just a beautiful aqua color. So if you all would like to see the tutorial on this eyeshadow look, just keep on watching and I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some scotch tape and I just stuck it on the back of my hand a couple of times to get some of the adhesive, adhesive <laughs> to get some of the adhesive off. So you're just going to take it to the edge of your eye, right to the end of your eyebrow, like that. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and do my brow highlight, and I'm actually going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm just going to put that right here. And then I'm just going to use my Sigma um, Concealer Brush to blend out the concealer. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tenacious Teal. And I'm just going to put that on my finger here and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. And then I'm also going to take this on the lower lash line. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics 88 color palette. I'm going to go in with this middle row right here of these blues. The fourth one up, I'm going to use this aqua color here. And I'm just going to put that on the Sigma E55 brush. And then I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. And I'm also going to take it up into the crease a little bit. Next I'm going to go in with the Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to go back in with my BH Cosmetics 88 color palette, shimmer palette, and I'm going to use that same row of eyeshadows, but I'm just going to use the second eyeshadow up. It's a really pretty, just almost like a purplish navy. It's so, so pretty. I really, really like this color. And then I'm just going to work this in the outer V of my eye. And this is why I put the tape down. Um, it's just going to help to get you a really crisp edge there. And it's also going to help us with our eyeliner here in a minute, our liquid liner. So I just work it in circular motions here, and then I'm also going to blend it up into the crease. Any type of matte black shade that you have will work for this. And I'm just going to work it just in the outer V. Um, I'm not going to work it up as high as I did with that dark navy blue. Um, I'm just going to work it just slightly in that outer V area just to deepen it up just a little more. Now to help blend around the edges, I'm just going to go back or I'm just going to go in with the Sigma Precision Tapered P86 brush. Any type of synthetic brush will work for this. And I'm just going to kind of work it around the edges just to kind of help blend it so there's not any harsh edges. Next, I'm just going to go in with my liquid liner and I'm going to use this e.l.f. liquid liner in the color Midnight. And it's just a really dark navy blue. And I'm going to leave the tape on for this part. I had one of my subscribers suggest that I leave the tape on whenever I do my liquid liner. And so I thought I would try it out and it really does help to get the line like perfect. So thanks for that tip. I don't know why I never thought to, to do that before. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to do that today. And I just kind of start really thin with the liquid liner at first. And then, like I said, I am going to wing it out. I just kind of go along the edge of the tape up to about like right where my crease is. And then I start to draw it back. And then just kind of fill it in. And you can actually go over onto the tape. 
In the meantime, while that is drying, I'm going to line my waterline and my tight line with this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. And it's in the color Sapphire. And it's a gorgeous, like, dark navy blue. Okay, now that the liquid liner is dry, I'm just going to go ahead and take off the tape. And like, as you can see, that creates a really crisp line. I'm going to go back with this BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to go in with that same aqua teal color that we used on the lid with the Sigma Pencil E30 brush. Get some on the brush there. And then I'm just going to run some of this on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in with that dark navy purple color on this Pencil E30 brush. And I'm also going to put that on the lower lash line, more so like back here. And I'm also going to blend it up into the liner. I'm just going to put mascara on my lashes and then curl them up. And for my mascara, I'm just using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I will have all of the products that I used on my face down below in the description bar, so if you need to go back for reference of anything, or if there is something that I didn't mention, you can go back and check that out down in the description bar, just expand it. But what I used on my face, like for my blush and for my lips. For my blush, I used this NYX blush, and it's in the color Angel, and it's just a beautiful light peachy pink color. For my lipstick, I use this Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick, and it's in the color Blushing Beige. And it's one of their nudes, their new nude colors that they have this year from the Buffs Collection. And it's just a really pretty, like, peachy pink color. It goes great with that blush by Angel, the, <laughs> the blush by Angel, the NYX blush and Angel. It goes really pretty with that blush. So I hope that you all did enjoy this eyeshadow tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I hope that you all have an awesome Labor Day. I know that by the time this video is up, it's not going to be Labor Day anymore. But I'm filming it today on Labor Day. So I just wanted to wish you guys a happy Labor Day. And I will see you guys in my next video. And <laughs> I hope that you all have a great day. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.